Breaking news. UGM bombs George Obiozo's house in our mama. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world. You are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very wonderful moment. Today's date is 19th of March 2022 and this very breaking news just landed on my news desk few hours ago and of course after my investigations and I have found it very very reliable and authentic and that's why I have to come to the studio and of course record this very news. Now I will read this news, I will give you the information as I have gotten it and then I will as well read it from the zoo newspaper and I will not read it as usual just as we normally read our news. I will read this one with swag, with swag but of course it's quite unfortunate that the evil man was not apprehended. That is where I'm not happy over this very, uh, uh, you know, gospel. So, according to the news, early this morning, 19th March 2022, the phenomenal UGM invaded, or should I say, preached, uh, took their gospel to the compound, to the country home of George Obiozo. Recall that George Obiozo, who is currently the President General of Ohane Zendibo, has actually... Uh, you know, uh, taking over, he took over from the active evil activities and the uh, uh, the the anti anti Biafra agenda of his prede predecessor Nyangodo, and also Nyangodo who took over from Dozier Ikedife, uh, who was also an anti Biafra. These people have been working against the freedom of our people, sabotaging every single move we make to free our people, to free ourselves from the shackles of the damnable zoological republic of animal kingdom Nigeria. And today, the phenomenal UGM has deemed it very, very fit to take the gospel to the country home of a, a great saboteur, George Obiozo. Now, let me read it from the zoo newspaper and then we will do a proper analysis of what really transpired today i will be reading for of course so many news outlets are now reporting it but let's read from vanguard newspaper of the damnable zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria according to the vanguard news they said president general of ohane zendibo or Hanezendibo's house bombed by unknown government in Imo State. According to the news, unknown government early hours of Saturday bombed the house of the President General of Hanezendibo worldwide, Professor Giorgio Biozo in Awamama in Oru East local government area of Imo State using improvised explosives devices, IED, and petrol bombs. <laughs> I told you I will be reading it with swag. It's not as usual like the way we normally read our news. Because this very news, in fact, it is long overdue. It is long overdue. And of course, you can see it right now is happening. An eyewitness told Vanguard from the Our Mama area that the unknown gunmen drove into the compound about 06 15 a.m. That is very early in the morning today. Shot indiscriminately for over 15 minutes before they set ablaze the house. Vanguard was told Obiozo's brother, brother's houses were also set ablaze. They lost so many valuables. Oh, what is valuables? I, I, I wanted to say to see they lost so many people. I didn't know what is valuable. Our people are dying. You are telling me about valuables. According to a village, a villager, they used explosives, device, and petrol gallons to put fire in the building. We entered, we entered the building, some parts of the building we are still burning. The properties were burned to ashes. Of course, I love that. I love that. That's good. The roof, the roof of the buildings were blown off and scattered around the compound. Those living in the compound are now in fear that the unknown gunmen will likely come to cause more damage. He added, the most painful aspect of it 
was that the houses to Obiozo's brothers were set ablaze by these hoodlums. According to them, they said they are hoodlums. Okay, it was not as much compared to that of Obiozo's house. When Vanguard called the Imo State Police Public Relations Officer PPRO Michael Abatam, he confirmed he confirmed saying that there was an attack on Obiozo's house early this morning. He added, officially, no report of lives lost. Photos of parts of the Obiozo's uh, house was set ablaze by unknown government early hours of Saturday. Okay, now, um, now um, I'm going to make it very, very brief. Because of our time, you can see a lot of things are happening. And of course, I promise you that, um, <laughs> that uh, 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 you know, uh, I will come here and, and give you the report of uh, what is going to be happening moving forward from 16th of March moving forward. I told you, and that is uh, what I'm doing. I am just keeping my promise. You know, I'm just keeping my promise. So the thing which is there is this. There's a, a uh, an advice I gave to these people that call themselves unknown government, UGM. I gave them an advice and I will still give them that advice again. I pray and I hope that they get this message. So you that are listening right now, if you don't share this news, then you don't want their job to, to be professional. I advise them not to strike twice. Striking twice is not, uh, you know, it's, it's not, it's not wise. Security, but you know, security wise, it's not wise at all, at all. For a for 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 people like this UGM, we don't know. Striking twice is not good, so they must strike once. And before they they take any action, they should gather very proper information about the individual, it's uh, them, uh, him or herself or themselves. Are you getting it? And know when they are around. The people we need are these individuals. So you see someone like George Obiozo. You see someone in Nyangod. No matter how many years it takes, if you commit any crime against our people today, this year, 2022, and you finish your tenure in the year 2023-24, and you think now you have been forgotten. No, we don't forget. We don't forget. We don't forgive. No matter how many years it takes, unless you you are you unless you die before the revenge, we will apprehend you. We will deal with you. We will give you what is called jungle justice, because these people has these people have caused a lot of so much damage against our lives, against our people, against our livelihood. Are you getting it? So we cannot forget and we cannot forgive. What we need. We need these people either dead or alive. We declare them wanted, dead or alive. That is how it is. Because they have killed a lot of our people. They use the zoo army, police, DSS, Air Force, and the civil defense, including a Bubago, which is the current one now. They, they, are, they are killing marching. They are the killing marching in the hands of politicians in our land are the Bubagons. And this, our mama, is the heart of all the evil, atrocities, crimes being committed against our innocent population is emanating from our mama, the hometown, the, the hometown of this evil man called George Obiozo. So please, once before you strike, gather your information and make sure the person in question is around. Because you see now the house has been consumed yes we like it because they have been destroying our homes they have been killing our people but george obiozo being an ex uh, uh you know uh, uh, um, what, did, what, what do they call it nigerian ambassador to united states of america and israel george obiozo has money he is the president general of hanez and Dioshi. he will still come back again and rebuild the house but once you get him either a, 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 a dead or alive then he will not be able to replace the to rebuild the house and he will now be able to pay for the innocent lives that they have destroyed in our life in our land 
he also was killed and he's from our mama did you hear anything from george obiozo of course not so many buildings have been raised in our mama a lot of life so many people have been killed innocent youth for that matter have been killed in our mama did you hear anything from george obiozo of course not but he want to become he want to have Igbo president come 2023 so i'm going to uh, you know hold it here if we hear any other information about this very incident of course we'll bring it to your notice thank you my people share this very news and make it go viral